Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. The British passenger liner, the RMS Titanic, was the largest, most luxurious ship of its time. As many people know, the termed unsinkable ship did sink on her maiden voyage when she hit an iceberg on her journey to New York City. She was designed and built with the most cutting-edge standards and safety for her time as well. However, what less people may know is that she suffered from various issues prior to her completion and launch. These issues were hush-hush for some time, but after her tragic sinking, little was left hidden from the public and from the investigators. We are going to talk about 10 of the Titanic's oversights, potential red flags prior to and during her maiden voyage, and some crazy things that happened during her sinking. Number 10. Accidents Right away, we'll start off by discussing a crazy fact about the building of the Titanic. Even before she was completed, there were a lot of accidents that caused people to think she was cursed. Many people warned that she shouldn't sail with so many people. First, there were 28 very serious accidents. Among these, an estimated eight workers were killed. As the Titanic was built during a time where certain safety measures didn't exist or were pretty lax, many of the workers also didn't have proper safety gear. Quite a few perished by falling off her during construction. Even more horrifying, a worker died on the day the Titanic was first set to sail for the public. As she was loosened from the dock, a worker was crushed beneath her weight. Though it's rumored even more people died during her construction, the number isn't known, as the figures were suppressed prior to her sailing. Number 9. Issues with the lifeboats One of the facts that we think sounds absolutely crazy is that the Titanic didn't have enough lifeboats to save all passengers aboard. At the time, ships were thought to be very hard if not impossible to sink, so lifeboats were seen as short-distance measures used to ferry people to nearby ships, if there was a problem. That means, at the time, the Titanic's complement of lifeboats met the then-safety requirements. But even despite this, the crew wasn't trained properly to carry out lifeboat operations. In a panicked, chaotic rush, most of the boats were filled only to half capacity or less before they were lowered to the ice-cold waters. Experts have suggested, though, that if the boats had all been filled to capacity, at least two-thirds of the passengers would have been saved. Women and children generally were placed first, following the women and children first policy of the time, then the first-class passengers. The crew and males suffered the highest numbers of casualties, with over 1,500 of the estimated 2,224 people perishing in total. Number 8. No Training Drill as mentioned in the prior point, the crew of the Titanic weren't properly drilled or prepared for if the ship encountered a life-threatening event. In fact, the crew was supposed to carry out a lifeboat drill prior to the Titanic's maiden voyage, but they didn't. For whatever reason, maybe running off the unsinkable belief, the captain dismissed the planned lifeboat drill. Maybe if the drill had taken place, the crew would have saved more passengers. Researchers, experts, and records do indeed suggest that there was a belief that the ship was too majestic and well-built to sink, so such drills were unnecessary. Number 7. Initial Speculations like with the lifeboat numbers, this fact will seem quite crazy and unbelievable. When the Titanic was first reported to have sunk, most people worldwide were led to believe that all those aboard the ship had been rescued. We can't really blame them for so readily believing that version of events, as the news media of the time were all stating the same thing. Obviously, it was a tragic shock when so many loved ones didn't return home. Today, we have even more trouble understanding why people would have thought this to be the truth as we're far more skeptical of the news than, perhaps, people of 1912 were. But, in contrast, we still expect the news to at least report hard facts and figures correctly, so this is just brow-raisingly surprising. Number 6. The Passengers Could Have Been Rescued Lifeboat negligence aside, luck wasn't on the Titanic's side that fateful night for those who passed away. This is because at least three ships reported to have received or seen the Titanic's flares, and one ship, the SS Californian, was quite close by during her sinking. They could have assisted in time enough to potentially have made a difference. Unfortunately, the wireless operator aboard that ship was off duty for the night, hence why the ship didn't receive the signal from the Titanic. In addition, other ships that saw the Titanic's distress flares and received her signals weren't close enough to arrive in time. It was the RMS Carpathia that finally arrived and escorted the survivors to their original destination of New York City. Number 5. 
alcohol can be a lifesaver. As doubtful as this sounds, it's actually true. A good portion of the passengers on board the Titanic were enjoying a good party on the very night the ship struck an iceberg. As the ship sunk, a sea of people were left desperately holding onto debris in the negative 2 degrees Celsius or 28 degrees Fahrenheit water. On average, a human can only survive in such cold water for 15 to 30 minutes. This isn't due to hypothermia, as is commonly thought, but from cardiac arrest, uncontrollable breathing in of water, or cold incapacitation. An interesting fact, though, is that one person in particular was saved, despite such conditions, because of a high level of alcohol in their body. Alcohol present in the body tends to prevent organs from shutting down, thus why they survived longer than many others. This person was none other than the chief baker, who started imbibing whiskey in a panic when the ship started to sink. Number 4. Wealth it's obvious that a good deal of the people who boarded the Titanic were filthy rich. The price of a first-class ticket alone was $70,000 US dollars per person in today's currency. Therefore, it may not be much of a surprise to learn that the estimated combined wealth of all first-class passengers was around $500 million US dollars in today's currency. Indeed, aboard was even Mr. Astor, with a worth of around $87 million US dollars, making him the richest man who sailed on the Titanic that night. Mr. Astor owned the most luxurious hotel at the time. He also believed the Titanic would save him and his pregnant wife. In addition, many luxurious, expensive items are laying on the ocean floor with the wreck. An estimated 6 to 8 million US dollars of riches went down with the ship that night. Number 3. Unknown Bodies On that horrible night, only 705 people survived. Over 1,500 people passed away, and even to this day, there's bodies that haven't been found. Among those that were recovered, over 100 of them couldn't be identified, for many people sailed under false names. One of the most tragic deaths was of a 19-month-old boy who was buried unidentified until 2008. Advanced technologies enabled his identity through genetics to be discovered. His name was Sidney. Even the Titanic itself wasn't discovered until 73 years after it sunk. There are just so many things and people to this day that are still undiscovered from that terrible night. Number 2. Sacrifice of Heroes Behind the building and running of the Titanic were 30 engineers who brought the ship to life. All of them are on the priority list to save, giving them a high priority option to board any lifeboats that still had space. However, these engineers instead chose to stay behind and keep the Titanic running as long as possible under such buckling conditions. They no doubt delayed the sinking of the ship as long as was humanly possible, so that more passengers could escape alive. These are true heroes that should never be forgotten. Number 1. Passion for Music if you've seen the movie Titanic from the 1990s, you'll recall the musicians on deck playing music in the midst of pure chaos and panic. In fact, this is true. Eight musicians aboard the Titanic that night started playing music passionately as they realized the ship was sinking. They did so in an attempt to calm the panic, knowing that was the last night of their lives. One survivor stated that no one else that night was as brave as those men, who kept playing as the ship sank deeper and deeper. That night, the temperature dropped to negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit, and yet they played as long as they could. That is all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Since you've watched this far, why not click on one of the two videos on your screen? See you there!